Good morning. Welcome to the ITS Connect session for October. My name is Jennifer Laudiana. I'm part of the education and training um, of ITS on campus. And I'm going to walk us through a tour of help.case.edu um, to highlight many of the features and a lot of the information that you can find there um, whenever you have to look for help or you have questions or you just want more information. Um, I had a poll out there and it looks like uh, most of you have used help.case.edu, so I'm hoping that you will take away something new from this presentation. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you. So you should see help.case.edu. I'm going to use the left to right, so I'm going to go through this left column over here and then the center and the other side and just walk through all of the different um, features that are there. Um, if you don't know about them or if they're new to you, that will be great. Um, on the left-hand column, there is a button. We do have 24-7 assistance. Everything I'm going to show you is available all the time, 24-7, 365 days a year. Um, the only exception will be our care center hours, and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but this website is available to you all the time. The next section here is called Search for Answers, and that is actually where you can put in a search criteria. So for my example, I'm going to type in Google so that you can see what comes up. And I'm going to click on Search. And I will get all of the documents and information regarding any of our Google products that's out there. Um, if you click on Google Apps, for example, it will open a new window for you and you will get the page that has all of the Google Apps information. Um, some of them are pages, some of them are PDFs. Um, they do open new, so you may want to check and make sure that your pop-up blocker is uh, turned off um, in case you have any trouble when you're trying to open the documents. As we go down this column, you will see the Contact Us section. And this is really important because this is how you're going to be able to contact ITS or the service desk and uh, put in service desk tickets or get help on anything. The first one is Live Chat. And this allows you to chat with an agent. Um, it actually will open up a new window with a software that you can enter um, your information in, what your issue is, your case ID, and then explaining your issue and hitting submit. Um, these are monitored 24-7. Um, it will usually give you a time and a queue for how long you need to wait for someone to answer. Um, it all, it's a way if you're not near a phone or if you just are more comfortable chatting that you can chat with a service desk agent as well. The next one is request help. And this will have you sign in with your network ID if you haven't already. And once you sign in, you'll actually get a form that will allow you to fill out the fields to enter a service desk ticket yourself. So if you want to enter that information, um, it will pull the center section here, contact information from your network ID um, if you've logged in. So that will be pre-populated, some of it for you. And you would just pull in your description of your issue and walk through, put in the comment section what you need, and it will insert into the service desk system and someone will get back to you. Um, so that's just another way that you can contact the service desk. The bottom option is visit us, and if you click on that, that will give you information, addresses, hours for our two care centers that are on campus. Um, they are open different hours depending on the school year. Uh, right now they are open till 10 at night. Um, the Bellflower Care Center is, which is the first one here, uh, Monday through Friday, and they are also open on Saturday. The other center that we have is the Sears Care Center, which is on the quad, and that is open daily, Monday through Friday, uh, 9 to 5. And underneath Visit Us, you'll have the phone number, so you can call the service desk direct, and they can also serve, help you out. If they can't, they can enter a ticket for you and allow you to um, it be forwarded on to the next party that needs to help you if they cannot. Most of the time, the service desk can help you with what you need. 
The helpful resources section are direct links to services that we provide that are popular. Uh, Lynda.com, which is our training resource uh, that you can use that is available 24-7, 365 for you to use. Uh, they have training videos on all of the services that we have as far as software, um, Blackboard, Google, Microsoft Office, um, Windows, anything like that. They also offer training on programming languages, communication skills, leadership skills, um, writing, and a lot of uh, skills that are not necessarily computer related. So if you haven't checked it out, you may want to try that. Um, Blackboard Learn is our Blackboard system for students and faculty. Um, CourseSmart is a faculty service for textbooks. And lastly is ITS Home, which will take you to our department homepage, which also has a lot of resources that may be helpful to you. The last section on the left-hand side is the training section. And all of these categories actually have more training information. Um, in the case of Google Apps, if you click on that, you're going to get a page that has documents, it has links to videos, it has PDFs, uh, it has a lot more information because we also use information from Google as well as our own uh, items that we've created. A couple of items just to note under training, um, the CAPS program is located here. That's the program for financial management on campus for staff and faculty that need help with purchasing items or sponsor projects or anything like that. We do have a training program for them with a variety of classes offered each month. Um, in addition to that, on the bottom here, you will also see links to some of our PeopleSoft items, PeopleSoft Financials, SIS, HCM, and if you are a new employee, there is a page for ITS New Employee Orientation. So it would have links to some of the documents that we talk about in New Employee Orientation as well as um, the presentation that is given in orientation. And again, there is a page for lynda.com in the training section as well. On the very bottom, there is a videos link, and that actually takes you to these ITS Connect videos. So if you want to take a look at what we've done in the past, you can click there and see a series of videos that we've had. So I'm going to move on to the center section. I'm going to refresh my page here so it comes back. The center area here is where we have all of the services that we offer in ITS. So they are categorized in these gray boxes here. So you can see academic technology, network ID, audio, video. Um, in order to see the categories underneath that, you would click on the little down arrow. And you can see all of the options here. And that will take you to the service page. Um, I'll go down here to choose academic technology, for example. Um, we're using Adobe Connect today, so I'll click on that first one. And it's going to take you to a service catalog page that we have. And this allows you to see a snapshot of that service. So you're going to see a description of the service. You're going to see a link to take you directly there or to the page to log in. Um, you would see the availability of the service. On the right-hand side, depending on the service, you may see um, how-to information that would take you to training information. You will also see links called related topics. So in this example, Adobe Connect does have a training page with lots of information. And related topics is Adobe Presenter, which is a software tool that uh, you can use to create presentations that you may use in Adobe Connect. So that's how the center section works. Um, so if you have time, you may want to peruse. I'll scroll down a little bit just so that you can see um, some of the other offerings that we have. So in the right-hand column, you will see hot topics. Well, you also see this got an idea. And this is actually a link that we would like you to use. If you have an idea for a service, if you have a question about the site, if you have um, feedback on the site, we would really like to hear from you. Um, so clicking on this will actually bring up a form that you can fill out and allow you to actually fill it out and send it to us and then we can get back to you. The next section are hot topics and these are populated on a rotating basis and what they are are topics that are up to date and new. So for example, the HCM system, which is our HR system, was upgraded. And if I click on that, it's actually going to open and there'll be a little short story about that and links to where you can find more information. 
Um, the other one here is that MediaVision courseware is now in Blackboard. And it, if you open that article, it will give you a little blurb about how to get into that in the new service. And as we scroll down, you'll see a section called Current Issues. Um, issues that come up around campus, um, such as uh, campus outages or anything coming up. Um, in this example, there's one here for Nelnet, which is the student bill pay system. Um, there will be notes in the issue section. Um, if you feel you're having any kind of problem, I always suggest that you go here first because um, it may have already been reported and being worked on. Um, in the Nelnet example, if you click on any of these, you will see a little bit of information about um, what the outage or the maintenance is. And as we scroll down, you will see a quick link section. And these are links that we have found to be most commonly used. Uh, most of them are related to passwords or network IDs. Um, so these will take you directly to that. So you wouldn't need to go through the middle section and navigate to account and password. You can just go to the right hand side, quick links. If you're changing your password, it would take you right to that page and you can walk through the password change process. Um, there are a couple of other options here. Um, student device registration. Um, if you're registering your computer or anything on the network, um, that was where you would go. The software center, if you need to have software downloaded, uh, that will take you straight there. If you have someone in your department who is an affiliate and you need to get an affiliate ID for them for Case Western, you can click on Obtain Affiliate ID. Um, if you want to research information security or look up any of the policies, um, Research Computing, um, this goes to their site. Uh, you can see what they have to offer. And the last two are the e-store, which is where you can buy computers, phone services um, that is offered in partnership with the campus. And lastly are ITS events. So for having any events um, on campus, if you click that, you can get some information on those events. So that's a quick overview of help.case.edu. I'm actually going to go back um, and put up another poll here for you to get a little bit more feedback. So if you can go ahead and answer this poll, I want to get an idea of how often you go to help.case.edu. So it looks like a mixture. Um, some of you are rarely um, and once in a while. Um, so hopefully uh, today you'll have learned some new things that you can use there. And again, it's available all the time to you. Um, so it's a good way resource if you are working late, if you're up in the middle of the night, um, it's there for you to use um, to do any kind of looking up of information. If you have a question, um, if you want to try to solve something on your own, you're welcome to use help.case.edu. So I'll open it up for any questions anyone may have. No questions today. So does, the, does anyone think that they will go to help.case more often since I notice um, we have rarely and once in a while selected by most of you? If you want to respond in the chat window. Well, thank you for participating today. Um, we will offer this again in November. We'll offer an ITS Connect session each month. Um, so look for announcements in the uh, case daily and on the uh, help.case and the training websites for ITS. Thank you for coming.